Hello, I'm Antubo Joja, and today is Friday. Praise God. Now, listen, tomorrow we're having our meeting. Sound the alarm. I don't want you to miss it. Listen, go set your alarm. Go. Listen, it's, it's going to be a glorious time. I'm telling you the truth. You will increase in God's knowledge. You will increase in your effectiveness in life and in your faith. Praise God. Now, that, see, Jesus said something. And that's what I want to read to you from Matthew chapter 11 and verse 28. Now you know the scripture, but I want to draw out something from it. It says, come unto me. That's an invitation. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Now, he makes the call. He says, come unto me. He didn't say come. He, just, he didn't just say come. He said come to me. So you better know you are going to Jesus. Praise God. So he says come unto me. Who is he calling? All those that are heavy laden and are weary. Their burden is much. He's talking to you. And then he says when you come, I will give you rest. Meaning it is his responsibility to give you rest. Now that means that he he's seen your labor, he's seen your struggles, and he doesn't like it. So he's telling you, come take rest from me. Did you see that? But then look at the next verse. And this is where a lot of people miss it. So they hear the call and then they say, Okay, Lord Jesus, I'm 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 weary, I'm tired. I, I'm coming to you now. And then they come to Jesus. And then they don't find the rest that Jesus spoke about. And then they are wondering, oh, but I thought Jesus said he would give me rest. But it seems since I came to church, I've been struggling. <laughs> you know, I've been struggling all day. But listen, watch this. Verse 29 says, take. That's the second instruction. First it says, come. Now you have come. The next thing he says is, take my yoke upon you and learn of me thank you lord jesus this is where the power is he says take my yoke so the question then is what is the yoke of jesus christ what is his yoke his yoke is his word. Praise God. You're, you're thinking some big basket of, 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 of load. Uh, 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 uh. His yoke is his word. See? That's his word. So when he says, take my yoke on you, what's he saying? Take my words. See? Now, now, say, okay, so how do I know his word? See? You take your Bible, for example. Everything written in red was spoken by Jesus. Now, this is Jesus speaking. So you, he, you must know exactly what he's talking about. Now, everything written in red, if you get the red letter edition, even the electronic version, you'll find the red letter edition. Now, everything written in red was spoken by Jesus. I, I need you to pay attention to the words. You can, you can take your study, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, and, and just begin to study those words in red. Now, what are you doing? You are seeing his yoke right in front of you. See? Remember, he said, if you love me, keep my commandments. What is his commandment? Keep my word. Keep my instructions. For example, now, he says, take my yoke on you. And the next thing he says is, learn of me. You can take his yoke and you don't learn of him. You can take his yoke and you want to carry the yoke the way you think you should carry the yoke. You don't carry his yoke the way you think you should carry his yoke. You see, you take up his yoke and then you let him teach you how to carry his yoke. There are lots of people who have gone into ministry like this and they are tired today. They don't even know what they are doing anymore. You say, but, but I heard the Lord tell me to, you know, to, to go into ministry. Yes, you heard, you took the yoke, but did you do this other part? Did you learn of him? Did you wait before him to tell you what you should do and how you should do it? Now, now say, so, must I do that? Didn't, he told me, go and preach to the lost. And that's what I've been doing. Did, did you hear him tell you what really is his mind concerning the lost? Who does it define as the lost? See, now notice he says something. He said, take my yoke upon you and learn of, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest for your souls. 
for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Now, he said, the yoke is easy, the burden is light. Meaning, if what you're carrying is heavy, it's not his burden, it's not his yoke. But he told us the secret. The secret is in verse 29. Matthew eleven twenty nine. 29. He says, take my yoke and learn of me. And what does he want you to learn of him? He says, check me. I am meek and I'm lowly. What's he talking about? We go back to 2 Peter and see where, where he is telling us, add to your faith virtue and, and to virtue knowledge. And to now he's saying, submit yourself to those things. Being meek is being in that place where you can submit yourself to learn from the Lord. It doesn't matter how smart you think you are. Get into that place where you say, Lord, I have several options on doing this thing, but I just come before you to know what's your mind concerning it. I really need to know what you think. Because, Lord, you know you get to that point, you say, Lord, you know if, you don't, if, I don't, if I'm not sure you're letting me move, I'm not going to move. You get to that point. Some say, but, but, but you know, sometimes God can be slow. You say, that's your problem. You are too fast. You know what? You are thinking about just you. But God is thinking about the whole universe. <laughs> you are thinking about just making the next decision. You know, you are thinking about, oh, um, I, I, it's not just to make a decision. This is the person I want to get married to. But God is thinking about the children that is going to come from that marriage. He is thinking about the family members. He is thinking about the person in Sudan. He is thinking about the person that your marriage is going to be connected to. And, and he wants to choose for you. But then he wants you to come before him in meekness and say, Lord, I want to learn what you think. You want to get married? Have you thought of asking the Lord, Lord, what, what, what really is your mind concerning marriage? You want to get into business, whatever kind of business? Have you thought to yourself to say, Lord, you know, I just want to know what your mind is concerning this kind of business. And you wait before him. And he will begin to speak to you. And what's he doing to you? Bringing his knowledge to you. And when that begins to happen, listen, you are going to get so full of his thoughts. And when you rise up to move, there is nothing that will be able to stop you. Praise God. You know, I've got to stop here. I want to see you tomorrow. Now, don't miss that meeting for anything. If you're in the city of Abuja, don't miss that program. Praise God. I just love you. And I pray that the Spirit of God will help you and carry you to know him indeed and be blessed. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Bye-bye.